Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. In this video, we are going to be folding this star shape. This star shade is a model of an actual device NASA is developing. This is an artistic vision of the star shade, which is the flower-shaped object in the center. It is designed to block the light of nearby stars in order to observe their orbiting exoplanets. When it is unfurled, the star shade is about the size of a baseball diamond. That's way too big to fit in a rocket, so NASA has developed a way of folding it like you would origami for lunch. In fact, NASA brought in origami experts to help create the perfect design. So let's make this star shade. First, we need to print out the crease pattern. Below this video, you can find the link for the NASA website where you can download it. It is ideal if you can print the pattern on an 11 by 17 inch paper. In my case, I don't have a large printer, so at the time of printing, I chose the option fit to printable area and printed it on letter size. We need a small ruler. This is optional, but it might come in handy, a little toothpick and a tool to score with. In this case, I have a pen that uh, does no longer have ink, and also an old magazine for support. First, we want to cut the pattern out with some scissors. There is some color coding here. The red lines will be valley fold and the blue lines will be mountain fold. When we fold a piece of paper, on one side we will have what we call a valley fold. And we can imagine like a little river between two mountains in a valley, valley fold. On the other side of the paper, the same crease is a mountain fault. If we see it sideways, we can see like the summit of a mountain. Mountain, valley. So the red lines will be valley faults, and the blue lines will be mountain faults. First, we are, we are going to score the valley faults on this side. So the red lines only. I begin by scoring this central hexagon. Just to visualize it. Then we are going to pick up the paper, turn it over, and on this side, very gently, reinforce that center hexagon. Make sure that you don't go beyond the lines outlining the hexagon. So we see the hexagon at the center. Turn the paper over again. We are going to score all these red lines as valley falls. They have to be valley falls on this side. So I, I begin by scoring this one. Make sure that you move your ruler so that the angle is right. And you score section by section because you need to be rotating that ruler. Rotate.
first section section and we go around So they are scored on this side as valley folds. I find it easier to fold them on this side, pinching and reinforcing them. So we already had reinforced that hexagon at the center. We want to just, each one of those creases, go little by little, pinch each section and reinforce the fold. The guideline is that uh, central hexagon. And begin from the center and go out. So on this side, they are mountains, but on this side, which is what we have here, they are valleys. Now we want to make these mountain folds. We want to score them too, but since they are mountain on this side, we are going to have to turn the paper over and score on the other side. Sometimes the paper is translucent enough that we can see the line. In this case, my paper is not translucent. So I'm going to go back here and I am going to score some markings so that I have them as reference. So each one of the blue lines, I'm going to score a little dot at, the, at each intersection, marking the sections. Now I turn the paper over and I can see the markings. Begin by here at the corner of the hexagon, section by section. Always connecting the points that we had scored on the other side. Remember that we have to angle Perfectly. We have scored all the creases that we need. We are going to turn it over. We've made our valley falls before. And now the blue ones are scored as mountain folds. Before proceeding to collapse, we want to reinforce them. So section by section, on this side, it's very easy to pinch them and you see as mountain folds. Very gentle and making sure that each section is pinched and not beyond. We are reinforcing what we did uh, on the back. If we have this side of the paper up, these are valley folds. These are mountain falls. Valley, mountain. We have a series of radial lines here, or spiral lines. According to the instructions, it is not necessary to crease them. 
but we can score them so that the finished piece has more of a hexagonal look about it. On this paper, I score those radial or spiral creases. On this one, I did not. If you decide to score those lines, begin with the red lines, only the red section, valley on this side, where we have the markings. The blue section we are going to score on the other side. Mountain on this side is valley on this side. Since we already have some markings here and here, we just connect those markings. And we do it five more times. We turn the paper over and we have all the markings. In order to collapse, we are going to be working from the center to the outside. We can cup the paper in our hand. Keep in mind that the kind of paper and the weather conditions might affect how easy or difficult the collapse is. If there is much humidity in the air, it will be a little bit more difficult. Focus on reinforcing the mountain falls that are coming to a point at the corners of the central hexagon. Reinforce the mountain at the center and let go. And repeat, reinforce, let go. We can see the rotating movement of the hexagon starting to happen. These are all existing faults. No new fault is created here. In a case like this, the mountain fall wants to flatten, so we can press from underneath with the toothpick. The main reason we might get stuck is because these mountain falls tend to flatten here. So we can press from underneath, gently, with the toothpick. We make sure that those creases at the center are sharp. Then we can start to press from the sides toward the center, allowing for that nice rotation of the central hexagon. As we move outward, and collapse, we continue to reinforce the mountain and valley falls so that they are sharp. We can turn it over and make sure that all the angles are nicely formed, coming to a sharp point. With our thumb, we can press inside to reinforce the folds. To open and close it, we hold it from opposite flaps. 